Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Friday morning, July 19th. We're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ES and NQ. So, we have an expiration today, options expiration. Nothing really out today, which is nice. Market hopefully just trades on its own merit. Wide overnight park here, 17 wide for both ES and NQ. NQs is just below half back in value high from yesterday. <clears throat> ES is further below that. It's near their seven wide pock. Remember we had a double distribution day yesterday. ES went out with two sets of single prints. NQ only went out with one. So for now, we've spent the entire overnight in the lower distribution. ES actually went a little lower than that. And so did NQ. Remember, we're in balance on the weeklies down on the daily so after today we'll be able when we do our recap tonight be able to figure out what our balances are on the weekly remember if es closes below uh 15 56 15 and a quarter today it would be an outside week down not the best news for bulls but not catastrophic uh righty which is having had a really nice run and came back into balance yesterday i would use a four-day balance i'd use monday's low as the bottom of it since they still have two gaps below. Right now, trading inside of their lower distribution. Remember, they had taken back their trend day and then went trend again late in the day and held two sets of single prints in I and J. So game plan this morning, in balance, in value, not the best risk reward. Um, again, in ES's case, you could certainly, it's a poor high on the overnight, take a short against that to front run it. I don't think you want to take the heat all the way up to where the single print starts. I'd use just a set point amount uh, above that. Um, same thing on the lows. You can take a long against the overnight low out below that because then they're going to start setting their sights on some targets below. Now, NQ, if you front run the overnight high, it's going to be, be uh, done with overlapping a higher value. But again, that's something you can still do. I don't think you're going to take the heat all the way up to these singles. So again, I'd use a certain point amount and pretty much the same game plan early um, to the downside against the overnight and all. Now, please remember, this is really important. We had wide ranges yesterday, all right? ES was the fourth largest range of the year and Q had a very large range. You're going to have to let these algos run wild and breathe. And I'm saying this more to myself than to anybody out there because when the ranges get bigger, we tend not to let them expand as much as they want to the following day. And that's where you get caught in a, in a long or a short way earlier than you should. So please keep that in mind. And then chart-wise, I don't know if I've been thrown off Schwab for good or they're just having some technical issues. I can't get on. But here's the daily. I'm sorry, here's the, uh, is this the daily or the weekly I have up here? Give me one second. It's the weekly. So we have a potential outside week down, like I said, right? Again, it's still healthy. Look at look at the weekly, what it's done all year. Um, so we're going to have to still give the, uh, <clears throat> the bulls their due. Here's your daily, okay? Um, came out of balance yesterday to the downside. Tested the 20-day moving average. So we'll see how much more downside pressure the bears attempt to get. Good luck trading today. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this video uh, channel. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.